Asteroids are building blocks that form the planets in our solar system, and there is one ancient asteroid millions of miles away that NASA has been focused on. OSIRIS-REx spacecraft has been carefully mapping out that asteroid named Bennu for two years, and now we can report its touchdown on the Nightingale site. I know, it sounds like a movie, but it's <laughs> actually happening. Such a proud moment yesterday. Check this out for teams at NASA. Before the touchdown happened, I got the chance to chat with Osiris Rex project scientist Jason Dworkin. Why is this? Why is did you pick this asteroid over any of the other ones that are flying around in space? So there are about 750,000 asteroids. We had to pick one uh, that met our, our criteria. We wanted an asteroid that we could get to and, and back from in our lifetimes. Because I want to see the result. Uh, we needed to get to one and back that used existing technology, uh, used rockets that we could actually buy uh, and not have to invent something new. So it had to be a near-Earth asteroid. It had, have, had to have a, a low enough energy to get to and from a low enough delta V, as they call it, mm -hmm. uh, to get to and from this asteroid with, without a whole lot of, of work, a whole lot of expense on the, on the rocket. Uh, we needed an asteroid that was a, a large enough size that it wouldn't spin too fast, be hard to navigate around. An asteroid that was very well characterized by telescopes, so we knew where it was and its properties. And an asteroid that had the spectral evidence that it was ancient and organic rich. And out of that, all those asteroids, there were five left that met those criteria. And Bennu was the best of those five. And uh, what are you most excited about learning about this whole mission when it all comes, comes to fruition? So I'm interested in the organic compounds that led to life on Earth or Mars, and Enceladus, Europa, where have you. And so the, the compounds, uh, the minerals, the, uh, the materials that on Bennu were the same ones that existed uh, four and a half billion years ago when life was getting going. And could, could these materials have influenced the origin of life or the evolution of life on Earth? That'd be great to know. But the most exciting part is that 75% of the sample is archived for, for future generations. So your viewers, the children of your viewers can make life decisions to, uh, be, in it, to be able to analyze a sample. Uh, the sample will be analyzed by people not yet born using techniques not yet invented to answer questions we haven't even thought of. That's the exciting part. He sounds like a kid on Christmas morning, right? Well, Jason also tells me that the trickiest part of yesterday's operation was the last centimeter, the actual touching down of the asteroid. And it's such a delicate process, and Bennu has such rocky surfaces, but the rocks there are very fragile, too. So, I mean, it was just such a delicate thing to do millions and millions of miles away, you know in this light speed, you know, it's just crazy. That sample is expected to return to Earth in 2023. And I mean, it's just all so fascinating. And to hear from the people doing the mission is just really cool, too. Yes, and one of the people we've talked to the most about, Banu, is in this week's upcoming episode we of Space love him. Curious. We yes. do. Yes, it's our friend and podcast host and New Six space expert, Emily Speck, chatted with UCF professor and planetary scientist Umberto Campins about asteroids and why Earth is likely not going to be impacted by one anytime soon. The newest episode of Space Curious is live right now. Go to clickorlando.com slash space. Check out that podcast. Yeah, Always fun to talk to him. He is fascinating. I can't wait to watch that podcast. The last time we interviewed him on News 6 at 9, he was talking about how this is just the most thrilling time in his career. And so we certainly can see why. Yeah. Yes. I mean, and it's just, it's just amazing when you see kind of the, the graphics showing you know, Osiris Rex going around the asteroid. You have to also imagine that this is also going, you know, millions of miles, you know. And it gives such a great educational yeah. opportunity for all of our scientists, mm -hmm. our young scientists, and, you know, inspiring them, mm -hmm. like he said, for all those possibilities mm -hmm. that lie ahead. Yeah, so we'll have to wait and see what, what the actual sample comes mm -hmm. down. And we should be getting some images actually later on today. So we'll, of course, bring that to you the moment we get it.